need to get that array operational what's up youtube this is ultimate shield 340 back at again with another destiny 2 video so in this clip i am running a i guess it's a main mission of the storyline i'm still trying to get my bearings on the game and how to uh like read the map where to go what the objectives are what they look like those kinds of things so as you can see here i'm like finding new kind of enemy types i'm starting to get a little bit better with the grenade and uh definitely am getting a lot better with this pistol i am i haven't really had a chance to try too many different weapon types in this game but i for whatever reason this pistol is just where it's at for me so uh again i'm just trying to get better with the pistol in and of itself and take out the enemies so at this point i kind of see there's more enemies and i see the white arrow and i get a little bit lost because i thought the objective was down kind of that hill but it was actually behind me which you'll see me kind of go and approach here at this moment so we are coming into this area this actually kind of looks like the previous area that I had came into before, but you know, I don't really know what to expect um, from this game. And I also see that there are other players kind of around, kind of doing their own thing. So it's nice to see people out there in the world um, trying to do things and that kind of stuff. So come into this room, see people, take them out real quick, and I get the next objective and I you know, kind of move around to the next area. The hive nests in the shadows, but they'll be on the move soon enough. The fallen are territorial. More concerned. So at this point, I kind of know what's happening. Uh, I know what to expect, so I see a lot of the enemies coming in. Uh, they're going to try and surround me, so I just make sure to take them out whenever I can. Uh, get that good old pistol in there, that pistol action, and the uh, old trusty reliable, and we're just trying to take care of these guys. These big guys need a few more uh, bullets to encourage them to die, so uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to figure out, you know, one, one thing I'm also noticing as I'm playing the game, um, th this game does actually do what they have like as critical hits. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're calling in this game. I, I, I want to say maybe they're called precision hits. But I know I've hit the uh, I, I hit the weak spot of the enemy whenever the numbers turn that yellow color that you just kind of saw. Uh, there's my, my Thor thing going on right there. That's awesome. And um, I, I kind of make a mental note. So if I ever find this enemy type again, I know to shoot it in that spot so I can do like sort of double damage. I go ahead take out all the enemies in this place and I go to the next area I believe this is actually where uh, that lady got Sith Lorded Maeve I want to say was her name and now I'm kind of moving you know forward but the path is blocked so I'm just curious like oh oh I gotta go ahead and use the you know action my ghost I guess to go ahead and open this up so I'll let my ghost kind of do its thing but then you know I'm, I don't really know what to expect and I'm sort of looking around, making sure that, you know, I'm not being surrounded. Because this is a great time for people to come by, just like I said. So, making sure to kill all the enemies. Making sure I, like, aim my shots before I take it. And trying to use some of the mechanics of the class. Apparently, this class is supposed to be, like, I guess more of a tanky class, which is great. I actually typically play a lot of tank classes in like MMO RPGs, uh, which is where my namesake Ultimate Shield actually comes from. Uh, even in other games like Final Fantasy XIV, which is an online MMO RPG, which I do play, um, I typically play the tank class. So, uh, you know, in case you all are wondering. So, these new enemies kind of come in, I take them out one by one. And again, I'm just noticing, of course, shoot them in the face, and you can go ahead and get that extra damage, punch them in the face. And there's actually a mechanic that I uh, learned that it it actually gives the amplified size effect if you see on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, I picked up a relic where it, it, like, essentially, 
it increases my uh, resistance to physical attacks whenever I believe I'm surrounded by enemies. And so not only do I take reduced amount of damage, but if I punch an enemy, uh, I actually start to regen my shields and stuff like that. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. So I've sort of adopted that play style as of right now. If I keep close, I'm going to definitely try and punch an enemy in the face since that's sort of what the gameplay sort of encourages me to do. I did see some of the other things that are available as the, I guess, subclasses for this weapon or this class. And so I think I'm going to probably spec into Juggernaut, which is, uh, I believe, is more the tank spec. And kind of see how that goes. Right now, that's not actually what I have. And keep in mind, I don't really know anything about the game beyond just what I'm like reading in menus and what I'm seeing here. So uh, that's my assumption I'm sort of drawing here. So big guy comes out and I'm trying to you know take him out and things like that I actually learned that I cannot take damage from my own uh, grenade so uh, and here's this thing this is a sword I'm like oh, okay let me, let me pick this thing up let me let me see what I can do so kind of gliding around and there is I'm looking for an enemy and I am moving on to the next uh, waypoint and objective so I'm still again trying to figure out how to use this thing, what to do with it, and all that. So, here we are. So at this point, I look around and it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, you know, enemies are kind of coming up. I'm using my supercharge again and I'm trying to find some enemies. This is probably a very bad use of the supercharge, but uh, I'm able to sort of find an uh, enemy or two and sort of uh, <laughs> do the juggernaut type deal. So which is actually, again, that's really, really cool. Love the sense of power that you get with that. And uh just using my good old trusty reliable uh, my pistol here to you know shoot down the enemies and take care of them and at this point I guess I'm kind of limit testing to see you know if I punch these enemies do they flinch do they stagger um, what what exactly can I do and you know that kind of thing and so that ability that you just saw me use I guess it's called an arc blast Ooh, just got two uh, kills in one shot uh, look at me <laughs> Um, that move that you saw me use, the arc blast where I shoot the lightning out of my fist, is actually deceptively short range. Um, and maybe I'm, I know I'm charging it full speed ahead, but maybe I need to sort of, you know, maybe change that. So a drop ship comes down, and there's a lot of stuff going on. There's enemies coming in, there's another player around, and I am next to this thing, and the objective is actually kind of off in the distance, so... Again, I'm new, so I don't really know what's going on or what I should be doing beyond just obviously, of course, getting those crystals that you see in the air, uh, shooting those things down. But I actually did not know this at the time, but I believe I am actually close to what they call a global event in the game. And you'll see more of that here. So um, I kind of do that, but then I'm also sort of trying to do this projectile, not projectile, trying to do this... Um, objective here while I look at the surrounding enemies attacking me and things like that so more enemies come down and I'm just you know new enemies I don't know what's going on I'm getting shot from all sides and enemies are just coming in so me and good old old reliable we're here fighting these enemies using the pistol tagging those enemies getting this guy I don't know how to deal with the shield I you know I'm assuming that because the damage numbers are coming out I'm still able to like damage the uh, monster or whatever so I'm uh, trying out my new weapon that I got in the vision 2 it's your I guess it's your signature weapon and this is the same thing in destiny 2 where you have like I guess it's a rocket launcher for me 
where I decided I wanted to use it. So, you know, if you have that special weapon, use it. You know, uh, see what you like, see what you don't like. And at this point, I'm trying to limit testing to see, you know, what, what can I do? Who are these enemies? And I'm trying to pass this global event with, uh, unbeknownst to me at the time, I actually did not know it was part of a global event. I'm just shooting enemies as they come down and, you know, I'm uh, <laughs> just trying to do my best. I pick up the sword, try and see what I can do with it, use it. Uh, this actually seems to be really good against these guys right here, so still doing my samurai thing, I guess, so. Uh, if anybody watched that old cartoon show, uh, Samurai Jack, that's a great show. Also, uh, Afro Samurai is also another anime I would recommend if you're into that kind of thing. Another uh, mature uh, samurai sort of uh, anime, so uh, shout out to the recommendations out there for you. And running around with the sword and seeing what I can see. So here at this point, I see this guy out there and I'm, you know, kind of pushing myself and testing my accuracy with this shotgun, not shotgun, this pistol. And I am being fairly successful, I would say. Um, normally in most shooting games, I'm actually not <laughs> that great. Uh, and I don't know, maybe Destiny 2 is, you know, making me feel like I'm like the uh, sharpshooter or something, but I, I feel pretty good about this about my shots, about my aim and things on uh, this game. So it's very, very satisfying being able to, you know, kind of knock down those enemies from a distance and, you know, uh, getting it out there like that with this pistol. So uh, I don't know what this thing is, but I pick it up and I just, you know, uh, I'm just kind of doing stuff again. I, I don't know anything about this game. I'm just doing stuff. And as you can see here, I'm, you know, trying to use some of my skills, trying to get a little bit better used to using this shield type thing. I notice I'm getting low on health and I'm in a very bad position. So I try and like get around and go somewhere else. So I supercharge and run after some enemies, knock these guys down. And a lot of that actually did uh, restore my health. And I'm now kind of back down at half health because... You know, again, the downside to the supercharge, or at least from my perspective so far until I get better with it, is that I don't seem to, I, I, I'm too reckless with it, so I, I end up taking a lot of damage. So maybe it's the uh, melee attacks I'm supposed to use while I'm using the supercharge that's going to help me regen my health and hopefully not get bursted down to half health whenever I'm using that to uh, gain an advantage. So shooting these guys down. Getting those shots in, I'm feeling like, you know, like I'm just fantastic with this pistol. Just, I, I don't know, I know I'm kind of going on and on about this pistol, but it just, I, I really like how it feels, how it handles, uh, and like the amount of power that you get with it. 
the only thing I would say that I have a problem with is that it just feels like it takes a long time to reload. And, you know, you only get nine shots. So, uh, if there was a way, I'm sure if there was a way to get, say, you know, several um, all at once, that'd be great. So, using my signature weapon again. I don't know what else to call it. Take that guy off the map. And I'm steady continue to go around and and at this time I'm like I'm kind of lost you know I I know I'm out here trying to get to certain objectives but I I guess I'm in a global bent right now and so I'm just kind of you know the enemies keep coming and I just keep shooting so getting these guys down getting these shots off and Trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, I think I figure out, you know, kind of where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to be doing, and I start to head in that direction. So, uh, as you see in the sky, I'm seeing that thing, and I'm like, well, I don't know what that's all about, but, you know, uh, there's an enemy in front of me, so I gotta kind of knock him down and keep pushing. At this time, I want to thank everybody who watches my content. Uh, I recently got up to 20 subscribers as of yesterday, so uh, that's a pretty big deal for me. Um, you know, I make these YouTube videos to sort of just entertain people, and, you know, I'm always humbled and honored that any of you who watch my videos, who like, comment, uh, you know, or, you know, decide that you all want to subscribe, you know, I'm, I'm always forever thankful and very humbled that you would take the time out of your day to watch my videos and to sort of listen to what I have to say and you know just watch some of my gameplay and me being goofy and trying to figure out what's what's going on and uh, things like that so you know I really do appreciate it I did make a video yesterday about it was like a perfect uh, public service announcement to uh, sort of highlight you know the importance of uh, you know maintaining your mental health and I just want to say that one more time you know make sure that you're taking care of yourself and um, you know, being the very best version of yourself that you can be, uh, so that you can continue to, you know, both be productive and be there for your friends and your family. So, you know, take care of yourself and those kinds of things. So short little plug with that. And we are going to this next part right here. So now I'm in another global event, as you can see here, and I get smoked by that thing and I had no idea what that thing does but you know I got the got the gun or not the gun but I got the sword so you know he's in the range cut so I see another drop ship come down and I'm coming over here and seeing if I could you know maybe get somebody who comes around the corner six their heads around so not find anybody found one got him and just continuing to, you know, do this global event. I am, again, one thing I'm immediately noticing about Destiny 2 that I think I really enjoy is the amount of, it, it just seems very frantic. Um, when things are happening, there's a lot of stuff going on. You're getting shot from all sides. And I actually kind of really like that gameplay where, I feel like it's it's a lot of you know I guess pressure so to speak where you know it, it does have a sense of urgency where you need to be aware and you may or may not you know be able to be successful when you are trying to clear this content so um, it, it feels fantastic to me so far uh, I might not feel like that later on but so far I really like that so global event has now started and I'm being attacked from all sides. There is this big guy who's coming down. I've never seen anybody do that, but he goes down pretty good. And now I'm being faced by a horde of enemies. So uh, me and Old Reliable, we're, we're kind of doing our thing. I'm, you know, punching people in the face. 
I'm trying to use my abilities. I have another uh, person around me trying to help me out and uh, do the global event with me and stuff. So um, then we're here. And I noticed there's, I guess it's a boss or, or something. I don't know what it is, but those orange guys are kind of weird to me. And now I'm stuck in this stuff. I, I don't know what to call it, but I can't get out of it. But I'm stuck in it, so like I kind of get out of it. And I notice this guy's just standing there. So, of course, you know, like any good guardian, you punch him in the face. And you shoot him in the back and you shoot him in the head. So, he's, he's standing there, you know taking you know me punching them and not moving so why not take free shots where I can right then this guy he comes up and there's those black spheres in the air and I don't know what they are and I'm just trying to make sure I'm dodging fire I'm trying to move around uh, apparently whoever that guy is he's just gonna stand there maybe he's dead or something I don't know what's going on and I'm using this opportunity to sort of uh, recharge my health every time I like get a um, punch in on the enemy. Again, using old reliable, making sure I aim my shots and getting those guys down. So I tried to res him, but unfortunately he had sort of, you know, I guess respawned and I wasn't able to get to him. Got two headshots off on that guy. And, you know, just more stuff is just coming up and I don't know what's happening. I don't know wh what's going on. This guy apparently is immune. And so I just immediately just stopped shooting. And so I'm just like, well, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. But I guess there's more enemies. So we're just going to keep <laughs> using the overliable to uh, try and win the day. I'll be very interested to see, you know, because I, I haven't, I've gotten a few weapons in the game so far. But nothing more than just this pistol has really stood out to me so far I, i've been trying uh other stuff here and there and it's <laughs> so far this is the only thing that's really uh stood out to me so on and on about this pistol i know but <laughs> the title of the video is called pistolero which is a uh, kind of a play on the division so i thought some of you who watch my other content would enjoy that as well so we come in, this guy comes and he's swinging, teammate comes and helps us out, and I'm just sort of like looking around and seeing what's going on, and now apparently I'm going to look and see what other enemies are going on, and you know, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. So this guy comes through, and that's an interesting reaction where he sort of like shook his head or something and he was stunned. Very interesting. So come up, punch that guy, and I get smoked. And he was kind enough to uh, res me. I immediately go into supercharge to try and, uh, you know, do as much damage as I can. And uh, I'm doing pretty good so far. Then I see this big guy, and I'm like, oh... No, and I'm getting shot from all sides. There's nowhere for me to go. Uh, I already used that wall ability I used from before. I'm getting hit from all sides, and I'm trying to punch him, and then I get stabbed in the back because apparently I'm in a very bad position. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but I respawn and keep shooting, big guy. Uh, it's actually nice in Destiny 2 where I don't, you don't have to, like, you know, go all the way to, like, some hub or something actually like respawn fairly close to where you died at so that's actually pretty nice 
So at this point, um, I don't really know how to kill the big guy. So I'm just trying to shoot the ads and maybe make all of our lives just a little bit easier by taking care of these guys. And, you know, I'm just keep getting smoked, keep getting hit. Big guy is shooting me. I'm getting shot. I'm using my wall and getting shot in the back. What <laughs> am I doing? <laughs> it's okay, though. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress and, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. So, um, so we are able to kill the big boy and we're able to get the loot. And I realize here at this point, after doing all that, after going through all these trials and tribulations, I still have not actually completed the mission objective. <laughs> so that was pretty hectic. Global events over, and now I'm just punching people in the face and trying to uh, get to my next place where I'm supposed to go. There's the control panel. And so here we go. See the icon come up. Apparently I'm in the boss's room and I start the objective and I'm sort of looking around, making sure I'm not getting attacked from, you know, the front or I guess behind me while my, uh, I guess it's a ghost does its thing and it does whatever it's supposed to do. So sort of waiting around waiting for the objective to go ahead and start and uh, we're going to get to it so if you made it through the video this far uh thank you for watching my video uh i know i've started off with the division 2 content and i'm going to start playing other games as well uh and maybe added that to the channel uh, i think i'm only going to do three games so far uh right now i'm going to do the Division 2 Destiny 2 content, and then I actually bought the uh, Hogwarts uh, video game. And so I'm going to, my my plan is to do Let's Play of the Hogwarts, do some Destiny 2 gameplay, and then continue the Division 2 uh, gameplay as well. So uh, while I'm on paternity leave, I am going to upload videos whenever I get a moment between um, you know, being with my daughter and my wife and making sure that everything is taken care of at home. So, all right, well, I'll just go ahead and I'll let the rest of the video play out, but I appreciate you all take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Peace.
Reed? You still with me? We're alive. I... I shouldn't have put you in that position. When you dropped off comms, I thought... We're all right, Shaw. The Hive are retreating. Did it work? Checking. Uh, looks like it. Levels are dropping across the grid. Just need to unlock the chamber now and we can finish this. Get back to camp before Novota makes another appearance. 